Peace family, it's your boy Tez, local financial ninja, providing everyday knowledge on personal finance. And I need a cut, but I'm going on vacation this weekend, so I'm just chilling. But what I want to talk to you today about is compounding. So compounding, one of the most important concepts that you're gonna learn when it comes to money, investing, personal finance, it's one of those concepts that's universal and understanding it, you'll see it, how it works and how it reimagines itself in all different concepts when it comes to you dealing with your money, whether or not you're investing or you're getting loans or you're lending money and things like that, so forth and so on. So compounding is the compounding is the action of reinvesting your earnings from a principal into that asset so that you make more money over time so say for instance you have a stock you get paid dividends or capital gains rather than just cashing that money out and spending it you put the money to buy more shares in that stock so next time when you get paid a dividend or capital gain you have more shares to make more profit off of so it's an exponential growth concept it's not a linear growth concept linear growth is just you got your principal in there and you're just collecting those dividends and stuff off of your principal and just spending it your principal will never grow or the amount that you have invested will never grow however whenever you reinvest this money and you compound it that's an exponential growth because you're building money on top of money to make more money and it's a snowball effect so this is very directly related to the time value of money concept if you want to look that up on your own time it's a very important concept to look up as well all of this directly related to compounding and time value of money is a realization or manifestation of the compounding in interest compounding interest principle so all of this stuff is directly related. So if you look at the inverse of this type of concept, the compounding, you can see how when you buy something for a principal and you get a loan on it, after you factor in the time and the interest, you'll end up paying more than the principal amount. Like when it comes to houses and things like that, I think after a 30 year mortgage, you damn near pay double of whatever the principal of the house was in interest. So it's a very important concept and you can see how on both sides of the coin it manifests itself when you're dealing with your money so if you have any questions go ahead hit me up in the comments be sure to like the video subscribe turn on that hey turn on the notifications hit that bell share the video because we lifting as we climb until next time y'all peace love light and life